Well, as this week comes to a close, we hand out our final Crystal Apple Award. She received 34 nominations from students and staff. Why so many? Well, she wears many hats, but always has time to help a student or community member in need. All right, so we need to finish planting in the greenhouse okay. today. From the classroom, at least we just gotta get them out of there, okay. to the adjacent greenhouse. <laughs> How's it going, soil crew? Good, okay. Marshall Middle and High School Agriculture teacher Paula Bakken. We're gonna stay with fillers and spillers. Has no shortage of projects for students. How many do we need? Two more. I really like the hands-on part of agriculture, getting kids working with the plants and the animals and people. I think those are important skills. Skills she helps them hone in their animal learning center. Where students get hands-on experiences learning how to feed and care for large animals. Plants and animals are fun to work with and kids show that enthusiasm. And so I like opening those doors to farm and non-farm kids alike. What if they're too shallow? Bakken was a farm kid herself. I did grow up in Marshall. <laughs> Small town girl comes back, right? She only left Marshall once and was quickly pulled back. The small town and that people care about each other and support each other, that's, that's been a big draw. I like that I can look at students and say, I know your mom, I know your dad. She has such a connection with so many students here that it's, it's, it impacts everyone. I feel like everyone just kind of knows her as like the, the teacher that if you need anything, go to her. She's, she's always there for you. And she teaches her students to be there for the community too. Once a month, they run the Second Harvest Mobile Pantry in Marshall, staffed by students. That ability to give back to the community has been important to me. Just seeing kids shine in an area that is different. Um, sports are great. It gives a chance for kids to excel, but agriculture is just a different, a different venue for that ability of kids to find their niche and excel in all different areas of life. Paula's students have excelled. She is also the school FFA advisor, and last year they won the state FFA Quiz Bowl. And she's always making sure that all of her students have endless opportunities to be successful inside and outside the classroom. And I can say for myself that I wouldn't be the person I am today without the support of Ms. Bakken over these six years. Support that extends outside of the classroom as she organizes group bonding experiences, including an overnight camping trip in the summer. And it's just about that well-rounded life experience. You know, as a teacher, you meet kids from all walks of life and all different levels of opportunity. And if that's not enough, Paula's not only a teacher, she's a farmer herself. Her family owns a herd of beef cattle. It's kind of one of those late, later in life hobbies that we've adopted. <laughs> they say variety is the spice of life. Every day is a different adventure, which was, was part of why I like my job. We're going to get to work. And it's that positive, can-do attitude and connection to community that keep her coming back year after year. Teaching is tough some days, and so to get a thank you is, is much appreciated. And having the respect of the students and the community means a lot to me. Now, Paula's not ready to retire just yet, but she does say she's working at a better work-life balance. I want to give a special shout out to our chief photojournalist, Kurt Lenz, who brought all of the stories this week to life, and to our executive producer, Maria, for all of her work behind the scenes. Our final two honorable mention teachers are Carrie Swanson, the emotional health and guidance counselor at Heritage Elementary in Wanakee, for being a strong advocate for students with diverse emotional needs and prioritizing emotional well-being among students. She does that in many ways, including scheduling lunch dates with kids who have special needs in order to check in on them.
And Mark Olson, the business teacher in Monticello Public Schools, for his dedication to all ages in the district. He makes sure elementary through high school students learn computer skills and even invites kids from other districts to his programming, video gaming, and production classes. Congratulations to our Crystal Apple Class of 2024. And thank you to every teacher out there watching for your dedication and commitment to our schools, students, and families.